Hey everybody, it's Cousin Mike from Landon Custom Classics. Boy, do we have a new little project for y'all to check out. I bought this 2015 Smart for Two ED is what they call it. It's an electric drive. But everybody online, they call it, they refer to them as ED. Um, cool little car. Actually has like brand new tires on it. All the interior I'll show you is like brand new. The only real damage to this car, they had a company logo on here and it looks like they took a grinder and just kind of ground it off. Something real bad. So we're gonna have to fix that, probably sand it down a little bit, maybe put a little bit of fiberglass filler on there where the divots are. Then we might put like a Landon Custom Classics logo or something over it, to cover it up make her look like new and make her part of the channel. So show you a lot of the different features to this that I've found so far and go over it. So I was watching an auction and I actually got a hold of this for $450. So hopefully we didn't lose our money because that's a, a substantial amount of money. But for a 2015 electric car with 6,200 miles, I think we may, may have uh, be able to pull something off, build a project out of it, and uh, flip it for some good money. So let's just say I was already had an idea that this could be a really cool riding lawnmower if worse comes to worse. Do a little conversion and uh, do her up. But uh, let's check her out. Here's the cool little little bumper. Might be uh, later we could get into the hood. Well, we could actually open the hood up right now. See, I think they had their little logo here too. They smeared it out. There's two things on here. Here's the pin. I have a little flip deal here. Hard to do with one hand. You flip this catch out and pull it that way. Flip this catch here, pull it that way. I know a lot of you seen these in the uh, gas powered, but this one here does not have an engine. It is all electric motor. So once you got those two deals out, I don't know if I can change my view here. Anyway, you just pull this up, pull it out, and it actually has a strap on it so you don't lose it. Also has two little hooks there. Those hooks go right there. And you can hook her on there. And right here you have your air conditioning system. There's your brake fluid. It actually has a radiator in here. I believe this is the coolant here. Can't really tell by the emblem. But I'm pretty sure that's your coolant for the heating system. And there's your washer fluid and you can access your headlights and the top of your struts and all that stuff in there. Has the windshield wipers that go outward like most new cars. I still got to get whatever they had in paint pen on here off, but we'll deal with that. And uh, she got a little muddy when I was pulling the trailer in it was pretty bad and the truck kind of got stuck i hit the gas threw a little mud on her we'll get her bathed up pretty cool looking little car though something new figured i'd get it for the channel so we could do something cool and then like here you go a little weight saver here the roof is all carbon fiber pretty neat and the power windows work. As you can see, it needs wiped down a little, and I got my dirty boots in there. But if you look at all the seats and interior, it's like brand new. Step in here. Got a compartment here to hold your stuff. Compartment there. They put JVC systems in here. Got a little compartment because it has a dual din thing. If we get her going good, we'll probably put a dual din stereo in there. It's got your uh, status of charge and power percentage gauges up there. 
And then you got your speedometer and your little info center down there. And your door locks are right here. Power locks, hazard lights, tire pressure system. Here's your little shifter. You got to have the battery in here to turn it over and get it out of park. I'll show you guys how to get to the battery. And then I'm going to install the battery off video so we don't... Uh, Take up a bunch of time. The main thing is you want to make sure all the connections are really tight and really clean because if you have a bad connection and mess with the electrical system, as you see, they just put a, a carpet, whatever, on this like felt on the top here. And it actually is a raised top. So you have more headroom, I believe. It even has airbags there. Airbags there in the front, all the airbags. These are actually built by Mercedes Benz. I'll show you guys. There's a battery hold down piece. I'll show you guys the back when we get the battery in and can get it open. So here I'm gonna bring it around, set it up, and show you how to where the battery goes and how to and then I'll install it. So I haven't found a lot of videos on these. So that's one reason I thought this would be a really cool deal to do a video series on. But, uh, so to get to the battery, you take the floor mat up here. Pull this carpet back. Then they're not on it. I actually have one of them. I haven't found the second one. But I did find one of the nuts. It has a little nut down here on the bottom and a little nut on the top. And then the hook in here screws into your bumper for towing it. You stick your fingers right here and you pull this piece of foam out. And then you get to stand the battery up, poke it in that hole and put it in there. Make sure you get the terminals in the right spots. So we're gonna have the terminals toward me here, okay? And we're going to slide it down in there. And I left the positive cap on here, the plastic cover, so that when we put it in there, we don't touch that on anything. So I'm going to wedge that battery down in there. There's not much room for recording. And I'll put all this back together. And then I'll show you the message center on the dash. And I'll show you what the trunk looks like. Okay, so we got the floor mat, the battery in, got the uh piece of styrofoam piece put back in there got the floor mat all down put our little mat our actual floor mat in got the carpet down floor mat and uh so now we'll go around to the trunk I'll show you how this works it has a remote that works for it too you reach up here and push the button and the glass pops nice little lift gate there then you reach in and you push one of these back they're electric, so if you hit either side, it'll drop both. Then in here, I actually bought this. This is one of the things that I'm out on if I can't fix this. I paid $90 on Marketplace for this charging cord, and I put it back where the factory one's supposed to be. So we plugged it in. It shows charged, but it could be that it's not charging, and it's just showing that. So... Lock that back up. This is just the case our charger come in. So you have a, a decent little storage capacity for groceries in here. And uh, it's got these panels you pop out. There's wiring and stuff in there. We'll show more of that later. It's getting a little dark now. Put our cool little tailgate up. Close our back window. And we'll go in here and put the key in and show you everything. Got the key in my pocket. It's got one of these suckers. It's got the little etching in it. There, see the remote side. Got the door locks, trunk, all that stuff, panic button. So, let's see what it does. Our key in, turn it. Guess our windshield wipers are off. Are on, I guess. And it says, do not tow away. Now, the message is giving us is HV system workshop, drive system engine off. So, that's what we got to figure out here. 
And we're going to figure out how to turn the windshield wipers off, I guess. <laughs> and there's our little JVC system working. Menu Espanol. <laughs> Let's see, we got our windows there. They work. I still don't know what I'm doing here with the windshield wipers, I guess. Maybe it's off now. And our headlights are over here. No, it ain't off. Maybe it's got to be up a click. Who knows? Anyway, that's what we know so far. We got some codes on here. Gonna hook the code reader up. We'll do that when we got more light. Like, say you can shift it now, push the brake, it'll shift. But when you put it in drive or reverse, it just says zero. Has N for neutral, P for park. So, might have to. I'll switch around here. Maybe. Guess I don't know how to do all this on the. Uh, this mode <laughs> so okay so we're losing daylight here just figured we'd do a little brief overview today and then we'll get more into it when we have a decent day again it's been so windy and nasty out here i haven't been doing a whole lot but uh we're gonna do what we can with it i'm trying not to spend money that i can't that i'm wasting so beside buying the car and the charger which we could flip parts, whatever, make some money back off of it. The battery I could use in one of my T-Birds pickups, whatever, whatever build I'm doing, the battery would be suitable for that. So we didn't lose anything buying the battery. And I did buy a uh, code reader that everyone on the forum said worked good with this. It's an iCarSoft, I think E660. We'll get into that. And... Uh, Go from there. This video will probably continue on. We'll uh, make it in different chapters, but we'll do a good bit on each video. So if you haven't already, make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see what's going on. One of our next moves might be pulling the uh, high voltage battery out from under this thing and trying to check all the cells and charge the three batteries individually. I believe there's three different batteries with 33 cells each. Like I say, I've been reading forums, doing some info, haven't seen a lot of videos on these, so let's uh, get this one going. Hopefully I can teach you guys something and learn something along the way. So, till we uh, get to the next part, we'll uh, call her a night.